Will you back my love, please? I am making the cinnamon roll coffee cake. So now that I've combined everything together, we're gonna place it in my pan that I've already floured, sprayed with uh, my baking spray. So we're going to put it all here. I'm using my silicone spatula to get everything in. Here it is. This also smells yummy. I think I might have some before dinner. I'm just saying. You want to get all that goodness in here. Set that to the side, and we're going to make, I'm going to get a, I'm going to use this bowl. So here it is. I already put it in the pan. So I pounded it. So it can evenly go into the pan. So here you go. There it is. So now we're going to take one cup of melted butter. So we want to make sure this is all melted. It's going to go into your bowl. Let me turn this so you can see. A bit more. I have one cup of brown sugar. Now this is the topping. And we have three tablespoons of cinnamon here. So this also goes in. This is the topping part. And to this, we're going to add two tablespoons of flour. And we're gonna mix this really well. Oh, this smells. Now, remember, I have always said, I'm not here making, you're not going to find any healthy dishes, dietary dishes. We eat everything in moderation. So, if you have any ailments like diabetes or anything like that, Eat very little. No one says you have to deprive yourself, but you should know how to moderate. Because we eat everything here. Later I have some porgy fish that I bought that I'm going to be making. But that's for another taping. So I'm just blending this all in and making sure that there are no little lumps of flour. So I'm just smoothing it all out so it can have a nice consistency. So you're going to now pour this on your cake batter. 
and when doing this you can use any butter knife or a clean spatula and just drizzle this on everywhere just like so now with this knife you're going to pull through the cake batter so it can go all just making lines through it so it can all go in And you're going to cook this at a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. You'll just have to keep watching your stove. Every stove is different, so you want to keep an eye on this. So 50 minutes to an hour. And we'll come back and check on it. And I'll come back a little before that to make the glaze. Uh, for it okay so we'll be back stay tuned <laughs> 